Tracy, how long are the colonists here coming in much? Uh, my grandfather came up in the 1920s, so we're nearly here over a century. And so many good horses your dad put through his hands. Um, Princess Patty, Chelsea Rose. Yeah, Princess Patty, Chelsea Rose, Sandy Creek, Dandy Man. Like, you know, he's had some really crackers over the years. For a man who wouldn't have had the big breeders behind him, he did his business on his eye and buying cheap horses and turned them into very good horses. Our main facility here is Maddenstown. The beauty of the Curra is, is, is that you have the whole of the Curra training grounds, which starts with Maddenstown, Step Aside, Balamani, Little Curra, Flat Rat, Welch's Hill, Schooling Ground, and Big Deep Breaths, 2,000 acres of maintained grass gallops, and 3,000 acres of grass gallops that you can go anywhere you want. So that is what is the Curra training grounds, which is a phenomenal facility. Over the last 12 months I've just gotten to know the work that Pat Kelly does and the, the work that the groundsmen do around here. Um, very underestimated people, like you know Pat, Pat's been in the job for 25 years, great guy, knows every blade of grass on the Curra. Um, we have a guy out in the front with us called Amy Lloyd, Amy's 65 this year, he grew up putting in the grass, looking after the place, he knows every blade in Maddenstown that ever was, anybody needs to know anything about it. I think they employ over 25 people, it's just purely to look after the gallops and the grasses and uh, we're very fortunate to have the facility. And it's a wonderful sight to see and a great sound to see horses working on the grass. It's just unbelievable, it's magic, you can feel it in the ground and the, the sound of the hooves, horses going by, it's um, it's a, a very electric experience and something that I'm very privileged to see every day.